Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. So I have a really encouraging word for us today going into the latter part of the year. Can you believe that it's the beginning of October? Um, pretty amazing. The Lord has actually given me several words for October. Um, I really feel like it's not just October. It's going into October, but again, a lot of prophetic words, the way that they operate in this respect when you're giving them to the body of Christ as they often are activated at a certain time and then they continue. Uh, you can have many different parts of a prophetic word operating um, from that time going forward. So there can be a lot of overlaps. And so that's the only reason why sometimes I hesitate to just use the month in my title. I do do that sometimes. I do that just for ease of searching. God does have a timing. Now, obviously, there can be words of knowledge. There can be um, a timing because God has a timing that can be right away. Um, I don't want to discount from that because that is definitely true as well. Sometimes there's a now rhema word. And I usually try to call that a rhema word versus a prophetic word because it, it's a little bit different. At any rate, this is encouraging. This is going to encourage you because we have had a lot of stuff going on. There's been a, a, a real lot of warfare. I'm not saying that's going to go away because of because of the times that we're in. But this is going to encourage you in your journey as you're going through um, those of you that are in the prophetic delay uh, for a good reason. Those of you that are really the Lord's just trying to do, uh, he used the term earlier with me, some last minute house cleanup or house cleaning that we like to do through the seasons. And so that's an encouragement. Again, I know this doesn't apply to every single person. Um, it doesn't. People are different and at different places in their walk in the body of Christ. So just like everything else, you want to test this word. If it resonates with you, um, be encouraged. But I do believe that this is really an overall word for the majority of the body of Christ. And you're going to be encouraged by it. So let's just open in prayer right now. Father, I just thank you. Lord, I thank you so much that you are good, that you are God, and that you know all things. You know the beginning from the end and the end from the beginning. And your word says that your sheep hear your voice and that we will follow your voice. And we will recognize whether it is you or not. So, Father, we just thank you for that. We thank you that you speak to us. We thank you that you love us. We thank you that, Lord, you uh, encourage us, instruct us, direct us, correct us. You do everything that a good Papa does. And we thank you for that. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I just ask for your anointing to flow, Lord. I submit myself to you, to the Holy Spirit, to work through me, to deliver this word to your people. I pray encouragement over them. I pray that their hearts would be open to receive all that you want each one to receive. I pray that you would confirm to them what word is for them or what part of it is for them. In the name of Jesus, cover us in your love. Cover us in your blood. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I have, I posted this on my Fresh Fire from His Throne blog on sabellasblessingshop.com. Again, if, if you like to be able to read words or if you want to really see all the different things that the Lord is giving me, I encourage you to sign up at my website. Um, and then that way, also follow me on Facebook um, and Periscope as well because I do... Uh, a lot of things on there. Facebook Live is really quick and easy, just like Periscope for videos. You don't have to kind of go through all the process that you do for YouTube. That's really why I only can do YouTube once a week because of all the other stuff that I'm doing. So again, if depending on your hunger, depending on how much you want to be keeping up with these words and what the Lord is sharing. I also do teaching, training, and equipping as well. You can check that out on my website. There's a new email you can sign up for for the School of the Spirit. This is something I'm really excited about. God is, it's just the beginning birthing process of this. Um, we're still praying on it. We're praying for a lot. 
or collecting ideas from people, topics that people are interested in. But if you want to even just hear about that, if you're possibly interested in it, it's going to be a school um, of the spirit that is going to involve different things to train, equip, and release the body of Christ to encourage you, to help you um, through the prophetic as well and intercession, how to hear the Holy Spirit, how to discern um, lots of really important, powerful stuff for the time that we're in because we need to be rooted in the body of Christ and we need to really be walking in his love and know who we are. Amen. So you can check all that out. I'll put a link below. Sabella'sBlessingShop.com is the URL for that. That is my ministry page. Uh, you can check it out there. So let's go right into this word. All right. So this is, again, we've been talking a lot about uh, battling, a lot about even inner healing and so on and so forth. Now, now that's continuing, by the way, uh, just to be clear, like I said before, the prophetic words on um, some delays and, and, and things that are going on really have to do with healing. They have to do with uh, a deep work that is continuing to go on in the body of Christ and will continue to go on as long as uh, it needs to. And that will be the case for many different people at different times. So that's an ongoing word. Um, but here is a word for those of you that feel like you are, you're really in there. You're doing the healing God wants. You're facing the stuff that you need. You're, you're, you're in there, um, battle ready and in the word and praying and, you know, just trusting God and you're going through this process. This word really, I believe is for you. And so when the Lord gave me this word, I, I seriously, now I'm a seer and a feeler. And I mean, pretty much all my spiritual senses, the way God works through me uh, activated at different times. So this is something where I could hear it. I could see it. I could feel it very powerfully. It's not long, but it's powerful. Here it is. I can hear the battle horn. It's a sound from heaven. I can hear the metal clashing with metal. This is swords I was hearing from uh, a spiritual fight happening between good and evil. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I was referring to. I can see and hear the battle in the spirit. I can hear the battle cries, the declarations. I can see the overtaking of the enemy's camp. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. That's a shout right there, praise God. I am telling you, get ready, exclamation point. Those who are going through the keyholes, the fires, the swamps, the heavy fog, I prophesy over you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you are going to come out stronger, sharper, wiser than you ever have before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In fact, you are going to be deadly to the enemy. Yes, deadly to the enemy. Many of you are being trained at such a level that you're going to be a sniper level. You're going to be in, like an an expert level archman hallelujah and that's what the Lord was showing me he actually was showing me various images I was seeing various things if any of you saw the movie Wonder Woman uh, where the in the battle scenes where they're flipping around and they're doing all this and uh, and the Lord has shown me that before if you if any of you on Facebook live saw my the prophetic the Lord showed me about the um, the Wonder Woman movie uh, the prophetic Wonder Woman bride uh, I talked about this at any rate what this was is that this is an image of us in the spirit when we're battling in the spirit when we're proclaiming the word of God it is called the sword of the spirit when we're praying in tongues and when we're do some of us do prophetic acts when we're praying the Lord will work through us and we're cutting things off in the name of Jesus that this is very very active this is something that even though we may not realize in the body of Christ I want to encourage you today because your prayers are powerful the prayers that you are doing in the spirit and by the spirit of God are powerful and a prophetic intercession uh, that you're making are powerful very powerful and that's what it looks like in the spirit it actually looks like and the Lord was showing 
showing me this again. It looks like in the spirit realm, just like you saw in the movie of Wonder Woman, where people are flipping around. And, I, and if you have not seen that movie, I recommend you see that even just so you can get this visual, because it's a powerful prophetic parallel to what the body of Christ looks like while we're battling. Hallelujah in the spirit. So that's what he was showing me. And that, so the things that you guys are going through right now, some of you feel like you're just going through hell. You are going through such ridiculous warfare. I mean, it's just been nonsense. It's been so ridiculous uh, that we've been going through in the body of Christ. And I want to speak life over you and encourage you today because you were getting a training that, that God is going to turn around and use for good. Hear me now. It's not that God is, is, um, is uh, using things against you or bring bad on you he's not the enemy is the one that does that remember John 10 10 is our parameter for that it's the thief that comes to steal kill and destroy but the Lord comes that you may have life and life more abundantly hallelujah somebody so he will in Romans 8 he will turn it around and use it for your good because all things must all things work together for good to those who love and belong to God and are called according to to his purpose. Well, if you're born again, if you know Jesus, if he's your Lord and Savior today, hallelujah, that would be you. It is for, he'll turn it around and he'll use it for your good. And so that is what I was seeing. Continuing here, I see some of you warring in the spirit with such an ease, swords in both hands, and you are cutting through, you are cutting through the enemy's forces without a drop of sweat. I mean, this was phenomenal. This was amazing when he was showing me this. I can see some of you armored up in serious high caliber gear. <laughs> high caliber. Like, real high caliber. Like, I, I, that's the only way. That's the phrase that he keeps telling me is high caliber. It's like really high, like Navy SEAL, like high, like special forces level. Um is what I see some of you in, in, in the body of Christ. I tell you, child of God, Rambo has nothing on you. Wonder Woman cannot compare to the power of Christ in you. Hallelujah. And, and you, that you have the King of Kings in you. Uh, you have the King of Kings in you. Can you hear it? Can you hear the sound? Can you hear it? Victory is yours. And some of you are on the verge of major breakthrough. And you will be collecting the spoils that the enemy has stolen from you and then some. Yeah, and th this phrasing, this is Holy Spirit phrasing right here um, that he's giving me. And then some. I see some of you putting your foot on the necks of the devils that have been tormenting you. Oh, hallelujah. This is something they talk about in the Bible. When some of you, you were putting your foot on the necks of the very devils that have been tormenting you, meaning you are crushing it. You are crushing them. That's a sign of victory. So keep pressing through because the tables are about to turn for many of you and you are going to triumphantly cross the adversary and walk in total victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, amen. Hallelujah, somebody. That is such a powerful, encouraging word for us today. So encouraging. And so I pray that you receive it. I'm going to put the link below so that you can read it on my blog as well. I encourage you to do that. I think it's wonderful to listen to the word and that you can catch the anointing through the video as well. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Uh, so there's something to be said about that and someone speaking out over you. There's also something to be said about reading the word and meditating on the word as well. And that goes for a word such as this. And so I like to try to provide both for you if I can and if the Lord has directed me to and if I am actually keeping up with all the different things that are going on. 
uh, sometimes there's a little bit delay between that but this happens to be a word that I have posted and so it lines up well so I want to encourage you all to read it to listen to this video however many times you need to to get some get some encouragement the stuff that you're going through I tell you you are gonna come out stronger you're gonna come out better that the, you were coming out not just this is not just you know oh you're slightly better uh, oh slightly smarter no what I saw what the Lord showed me is this is high caliber uh, he used the term remember deadly that that you were gonna be deadly to the enemy that is a strong strong word of encouragement and I and I encourage you to receive it today in the name of Jesus that it would build you up that it would strengthen you in the midst of the things that you're going through to know that God is turning it around for your good and to allow this that as you're doing this know that nothing is being wasted that everything is redeemable and God uses everything for your good so be encouraged in the name of Jesus now I'm going to just do a closing prayer over you, Father. I just thank you so much for this word. I speak life over your people. I thank you, Lord God, for this, just this wonderful declaration, this wonderful prophetic word, Lord. I thank you for releasing it, that it's been released and spoken, and I've spoken it out over your people in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you would confirm for them, give them faith to receive it for themselves, Lord, those, those that this word is for, that they would be strengthened, that they would be encouraged, that they would know that they have the victory in you and that all things must work together for good to those who love you and have been called according to your purpose, Father. And so we thank you in the name of Jesus. I speak blessings over your people. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, leave your comments below. As always, I do reply to the comments. And uh, just let me know. Let me know. Does this resonate with you? Be encouraged, everyone. We are going through a lot as the body of Christ right now. But hang in there. And the Lord has another word, many words, actually, that he has given. Again, that I'll do a video on next week. If you want to hop on and see things quicker and, and see it faster, again, I recommend that you uh, follow me on the other social media and uh, then you can get in and see a bunch of other stuff that the Lord's showing as well. Again, if you're, if you're even possibly interested in the School of the Spirit, well, I'll be teaching and training and equipping and, and, and helping as the Holy Spirit leads to be able to, to teach you guys how to operate in the prophetic, how to discern, how to recognize the voice of God, how to discern what is the Lord, what isn't, how, what to do about dreams and visions, what to do when you get a word, what do I, and, and also your identity and, and, and how to how to battle in the spirit and all of all just all these different things of being rooted and established in his love being set on fire for Jesus what it all means and how to do it and in practical ways to do this uh, this is where training and equipping really matters this is really a, a call on my life to do as well and God has been talking to me about it for a long time and has said that it is a, a, a desperate need in the body of Christ there is a lot of people that uh, have gifts from the Lord and they don't have a safe place they don't have a place where they can share words they don't have a place where they have people around them that either either they don't believe in the prophetic or they don't believe in certain gifts uh, or they just don't have a place where they can give it and get that discernment around them and that this is very needed so this is going to meet a need that God wants needed that God wants met in the body of Christ uh, he's called me into this. I have a great joy in it. And, and if you can just pray for it, I appreciate it. You can read more about it on my website. So God bless you until I see you again. In Jesus' name, amen.